Hi, welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I am straight back in on the GeoGuessr front with this map, the 198 capitals of the world. Uh, I know it was the last GeoGuessr video that I did, um, but A, we're having such good fun with it. And uh, I think you are too playing along with these videos. It's just perfect, isn't it? I've explained why it's so fun already. But the other reason, of course, is that it's been quite an adventure-filled month for me this past month. In real life, um, I've filmed two adventures, uh, the latter of which was a straight line mission that I've just returned from safe and sound. Um, the GeoGuessr content and the GeoDetective content has been a bit thin on the ground and will continue to, to be so, I'm afraid, until I have that straight line mission edited, because I want to get it edited as quick as I can to show you guys the good content. And it's going to be good, trust me. Um, so for now, you, you might get a lot of play-alongs. I'm, I'm mainly speaking to you guys who love the GeoGuessr content. I'm apologising to you because it's going to be, there's not going to be much really impressive content from me. Not that there is that much anyway. It's going to be mainly play-alongs the odd interesting map, the odd bits and pieces here and there uh, to keep the channel ticking over while I laboriously edit away. Um, right, I've talked enough. Let's play our fourth game of this Capitals map. No moving, no time limit, just the way we like it. And let's get that challenge link. If you guys haven't played along yet, do check the description for the instructions and give it a go. You're missing out. You're missing out. If you don't, oh man, would you believe it? We're back here. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. Get me. I know we've spent we've spent enough time there. Let's do it again. Let's try again. I hope we don't get more. I hope we don't get a repeat round in like the fourth round or the fifth round because I'm yet to have one. So here we go again. New challenge link. And this is definitely new. Okay. Meter taxi. Okay, judging by these people, I would say, sorry, I've been distracted by that. I would say Bangladesh, but let's have a closer look and see that that is clearly Sri Lanka or is it India? Because remember, both the languages that you'll find in India sorry, in Sri Lanka and Bangladesh can both be found in India or at least very similar the way that they're, the way that they're written. So we'll keep looking around because I'm starting to think that it might be India, although by the looks of it, this isn't a photosphere, this is Google imagery. So it could be Sri Lanka. Now what does that say, LK? Well, it says LK, but what, what does it mean? Let's keep looking around because we're bound to get this. I mean, we are bombarded with clues. Right, there's a clue. There's the most important one of the lot. So it's the Sri Lankan flag, one of my favorite flags. Um, and I think, yeah, and we're in Colombo. I, I mean, it's obvious that we're in Colombo. It's, it's obviously a huge city. The question is, can we get this? Can we sift through all the textiles that surround us and find which road we're on and find it on the map, more importantly? So, let's have a look. So, Second Cross Street, Colombo. Okay. Second Cross Street, Colombo. So, that's two. That's three, four, four, right? I'm not gonna bother look at five. Five different companies that I can see in this screenshot that all have the same address. So I'm pretty, pretty sure that we're on Second Cross Street, Columba. Now, does, is that just a random name? Let's get in there. Is that just a random name or is it second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth? Cross Street, uh, which would, you know, like an American style thing, which would make it easier to find. Let's have a look. I found it. <laughs> I can't believe that. Um, I zoomed straight into the most, um, you know, to what looked like the center 
I didn't really know that this was right in the centre, although it's clearly pretty near the centre. Anyway, I zoomed into a grid looking, you know, central area where it, you know it's central when you've got the, the yellow, the yellow kind of uh, background. That means it's kind of of importance historically. Um, I think that's what it means. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the best way I can describe it. And there it is, right in the middle. And I was kind of right. You've got first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth. Is there a sixth? No, it stops at fifth. So I was wrong about there being six. But I was right about where it was. So here we go. All we need to do now is find a couple of these companies. JDM Textiles. Let's try and find it. Where is it? JDM Textiles. Now we're not going to be too far away, I wouldn't have thought. There it is. Boom. We can go there. And five star textiles. Where are you? Where are you? It's none of them. There. Five. Five star. There we go. Didn't need to do that, but it, it, it felt good. One yard. Excellent. Right, next. Right. Ashgal's Contact Center. Is this Dubai? No, it's Qatar. I've just seen that there. Ashgal, Qatar. So we are in Qatar. Um, here it is. Wow. Look at that. What's that? It's a sort of weird looking St. Louis type monument. The St. Louis of Qatar. Right. Is Ash, Ashgal, Ashgal, is that the capital? Why am I going into Africa? I do not know. No, it's Doha, obviously. So we're in Doha because that surely is the capital. Doha. Let's try and find this road. It looks like we're heading. That's got to be the center, right? And that's QDB. Uh, we've got a few things here. Kabayan store. Bit of a distinctive junction. And this, I believe, we can find. That's got to be something of note. It's got to be something of note. Anyway, the main thing I'm looking for is this directly north facing road, um, which this one looks the best that I can find at the moment. Um, I wonder if that arc is on here though. Okay, I can't find this junction. This is the best thing I've got, really. I mean, it, it it's not in many ways. Um, it bends round there, which it does. It goes directly north, which it does for a while. But I've looked at every other junction in the city, basically, and I can't see anything that correlates in terms of the directions of the roads and I might stand corrected but doesn't include that doesn't include this monument although that might not be on the map doesn't include that shop that shop uh, yeah mainly this just isn't just doesn't correlate so I'm just gonna click somewhere and I'm probably gonna drop points here but uh, oh well gives you a chance to beat me this week you're kidding Okay, I didn't think that we could possibly be there. I see what's happened. I see what's happened. I ruled out anywhere that far north because I thought that, and I was right in thinking that the buildings I could see in the distance, which were obviously up here in West Bay, were much too far in the distance. So I thought we had to be down here. In fact, there was a whole bay of water in between us and those buildings. Let me just have another look at that. That's why I've got that one wrong. So in between us and those buildings is a whole bay of water. I should have considered that possibility. What can I say? But I didn't. I ruled it out. 
Anyway, um, moving on. We've dropped points, but only 41. Wow, okay, this is an interesting one. We're up high. We're high up on a roof. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Now, this really could be obscure. Could this be North Korea? Who's it taken by? Bingren Jin. Bingren Jin. And what the hell is that? I thought that was a demonic person. Uh, yeah, so we've got... Could this be North Korea? Surely that... Surely not. Could it not be Mongolia? I think it could be a few places. Let's... Oh, it's China. Wait, seriously? China supermarket. No, okay, not necessarily then. But it could be. So, let's just relax a minute, Tom. China supermarket. It looks pretty, you know, run down. Pretty, yeah, not very developed for a capital city. We do have this sign. So let's concentrate on this, if we can read anything. Something, something, departure. So we're by the airport. Um, something, something, airport. Oh, God. I can't really read any of it. Juba. Hi, I, could this be Vietnam? That's what I'm now thinking. Although, would you really get all of the... Okay, but that's a Chinese supermarket. Right, right. Okay. I'm slowly working my way towards it, but I'm still not very close. Um, let's just look at these countries, because we, we now... There was a time, not so long ago, where I didn't really know much about any of these countries. All I knew was their flags and their names. We now know that it can't be Myanmar, which is one of the more obscure ones, especially if you play GeoGuessr. We know it can't be Laos, Thailand or Cambodia. The only one that it could be is Vietnam. Because of the language that we are seeing. The capital of Vietnam is Hanoi, by the looks of it, but it just looks a bit run down, really. But I guess we're, we're by the airport. Right, okay. Something International Airport. Juba International Airport, that now reads, I can see. So, where's Hanoi Airport? I, I'm just exploring this avenue. I don't think this is necessarily correct. There's an airport. It's pretty far out, but it, it's there. Kang Hang Kong Kwok Tinoi Bay. I don't think that's it. Juba. I'm, I'm... Where the hell is Juba? I'm going to start looking elsewhere very soon. Yeah, I can't see another airport. So... Juba International Airport. What country could this be? Right. Hang on a minute. I don't think we're necessary. I think that Chinese shop is throwing us off a bit. Although these guys do look quite Chinese. This... Juba. Oh my God, man. This is a little bit humbling, a little bit embarrassing for me, but I just have no idea where Juba is. And I'm starting to think that despite the China supermarket and the seemingly Asian looking people, if you'll excuse the phrase, I think we might be somewhere completely different. And down on the street, do we have, they look African. All of a sudden, they look African. I am right back to the drawing board here. Oh my God, it's South Sudan. Oh my goodness me, Juba. I thought I'd heard of it. I thought it was in the news. That totally threw me off. This supermarket and these people here. 
They do look Asian, don't they? I mean, they're taking photographs for a start. Just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, am I? Um, and then these, I, I was fooled into thinking that these were Chinese symbols. Actually, they, they might well be. They might well be. That's, that's, that was the third thing that got me thinking that we were in an Asian country. Isn't it amazing? how these things can fool you. And I'm looking around, I'm looking around Vietnam and China. Oh my God, wow, okay. So Juba International Airport, there it is. And I'm guessing we are here. Can't see the Chinese shop. Let's just have a look at that airport. Where does it stretch? I would say we probably are on Airport Road. Um, and I'd say we're on that building there. Let's try it. Oh. oh, what? No, I don't think you're correct. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Um, well, we're obviously we're on the other side of the road, aren't, weren't we? And yeah. Maybe we could have been here, but no, I, we, we, we were where I clicked, but that doesn't matter. Um, I've embarrassed myself enough in other ways, um, but a 4999, I'll take, I'll take it. I deserve to lose a point there. Right, last but one round. We've still got a decently respectable score, so well done if you are, are ahead of me. Now this could be Bulgaria. Something like that. Let's let's look around. Drinks mania. It's Google Street View imagery. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, I'd say that's the Bulgarian flag. So this will be Sofia. Swedish barber shop. That's weird, isn't it? Usually these things are branded as a Turkish barber shop. And this guy don't look too Swedish, if I'm honest. Um, but uh, hey, Swedish barbershop, whatever sells, mate, whatever sells. Um, right, so we're in Sofia. I won't spend too long on this one. Uh, it's a city I'd like to visit. Looks pretty beautiful. And we've got street names, so let's let's get in there. So it's, oh, it's going to be quite hard to read them. Map. And now why have we got, okay, the street name changes name, right? Mappen something. I, I, I can't, I've just got to go in. Let's get in. So, yeah, we're looking at these sorts of roads that go northish to southish. And I'm looking for a Mappen, where's it gone? Map, Mapna, Mapna. Obviously, it's in Russian, so I'm saying it completely wrong, but that's how I'm going to get it in my head. So, I'm looking at these grids, and it's a bit annoying because I've got to zoom in to read them quite far. Do you know what? I'm going to start looking for this one, actually, just in case that isn't a street name. I'm going to start looking for this one. Car... K-H-R, fucking hell, K-H-R, and the roads have a slightly northwestern direction to them, okay? K-H-R, I think I've got it, I think I've got it, but I don't understand how I've got that so wrong. Got the angle of that road wrong. Yeah, I've just straight up got that wrong. It's northeasternly. God, I must have done your heads in today with all this tomfoolery. Anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, KHR Mapna or Mapner. Yeah. So the Swedish barbers is yet to feature on this map. 
Maybe it's because they don't pay taxes. I don't know. Just guessing. But I'm going there. Oh, no. It is on there. <laughs> I've fucked up again. I've monumentally fucked up again. And I've lost a point to punish me for my presumptions. Uh, last round, guys. Here we go. And it's going to be an easy one. Bank of St. Lucia. Um, yeah, there it is. Beautiful. St. Lucia in the Caribbean. There's its Star Trek-esque flag that we can't really see, but it's a good flag. I'm guessing that, and I'm only guessing here, I'm probably going to be wrong again, but I'm guessing that some of the more obscure countries that will be on this map such as St. Lucia or Tuvalu or something, it's, it, you've probably got no choice. If you're the maker of the map, there probably aren't many photospheres to choose from. Uh, therefore, you have to go for Paul Milton's image, which happens to be right outside the Bank of St. Lucia, which gives it away. I don't know. Maybe the maker of this map wanted this location, but I'm guessing that the smaller the country, the more slim pickings it is. Um, but... We should be able to get this pretty easily. Let's find St. Lucia. We've got to find the country first. Oh, there it is. Uh, and it's, I'm guessing that one, Castries. 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 That's a weird name for a capital city. What should we call our cap? What should we call our capital? Castries. Here we go, though. I, pr I presume we're there. Where's the sea? Which way to the sea? I don't, I can't see it. Is it that way? Surely not. Is that right? Or is Castries not the capital? Have I got something else wrong? Well, it's not Vaufort. Is it Rodney Bay? That doesn't look right to me. That ain't right, mate. I think we are probably here. Yeah, Bank of St. Lucia. I've just got it all wrong again. That means the sea... Wait a minute. That means the sea is that way. Yeah, okay. Is the stitching wrong on some of this? I just can't see where the, which direction the sea is in. Is it round that corner? Is it round that corner? Doesn't really make sense to me. Because you've got that. And then, so the sea would be that way? Doesn't make sense. Or is that the terminal there? So what's that over there then? I can't see that on the map. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going there. It's going to be wrong, isn't it? Okay, I've got a badge. Some sort of explorer badge. And that was correct. I think... Okay, I think I was looking at the, sh the shipping stuff was over here. I don't know. The perspective just seemed wrong to me. Anyway, that was a lot of me just thinking out loud and just really getting very, very confused in that game. Uh, as you saw, confusing um, South Sudan with Vietnam. You won't see it happen often, guys, but it did happen today. Uh, view summary, there we go. Still ended on a, a respectable score of 24957. Some of you will have got a perfect score there um, because the Qatar one will have... Yeah, you will have got that. that that's the one where I lost most of my points and then there was... Two others, I believe, where I dropped. Uh, well, let's get the break breakdown. Yeah, 41 dropped on that. And then two others where I dropped one point and then two perfect scores. Took me long enough. Took me friggin' ages, actually. I'm going to have to speed some of that up. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for playing along. I'll give you another one of these very soon. Or maybe I'll mix it up a little bit. Feel free to give me suggestions of what you would like to see in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to oblige as long as it's something that doesn't take me 
too long to record and to edit. Things like no moving, panning or zooming 10 seconds per round when I'm trying to get 24K um, will take me hours to film and then hours to edit and I just haven't got that time at the moment. Uh, but do feel free to um, drop me a few suggestions and uh, thanks for being patient with me in this busy time. I can guarantee that the rewards will be worth it unless you for some reason really dislike my adventure videos. But I think that's a minority. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.